uh, we have to start our show today with some really sad news. Our friend, former BMX pro Kevin Robinson, passed away suddenly over the weekend. Now, it is a huge loss to the community. These Providence native was known around the world for his stunts, and um, but he was also such an incredible person, a great guy mm -hmm. who cared deeply about our little state. And we want to remember him this morning. It makes it fun when you do it all as a group, it inspires them to keep themselves healthy and fit as well as the parents because sometimes it's hard to get yourself moving, but if you do it as a group, it inspires you to kind of get the whole thing going with the family. Veteran BMX biker Kevin Robinson, or K-Rob as he was known, was an East Providence townie with a lot of pride and a lot of heart. A frequent guest here on the road show, he gained international recognition for his stunts. And just last year, he stepped out of retirement to break the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest ramp-to-ramp, no-handed backflip. And he leaves no doubt. Incredible. But he did so much more than tricks on a bike. Kevin was passionate about his locally-based charity, the K-Rob Foundation, which worked to help impoverished kids with the cost of athletics. This particular record I've been wanting to do for about five years, and you know, I, I, I had approached former sponsors about it, and nobody just ever, everybody wanted me to do it somewhere else except Rhode Island, and I just really was passionate about doing it in my home state. He was also an outspoken advocate in the anti-bullying campaign. Kevin worked to build up his community and frequently hosted family events in his hometown. Kevin passed away early Saturday morning after suffering a stroke. He was 45 years old. Kevin leaves behind his loving wife, Robin, and their three young children. Team Robinson Roadshow on three. Ready? One, two, three. Team Robinson Roadshow! I got to tell you, it is so... Uh, you know, it, it's just so sad to see that. Not only did he do such great things for, for everybody, and I, and I know he was just, if, even if you take all of that away, he was just a good guy, yeah. a good dude. He was a great dad. He, he loved his, his kids, his wife, his family. Mm -hmm. I remember we all went we all went bowling. Was it last year we all went we went we went bowling and look I'm telling you I was horrible at bowling and he just was razzing me about it. Yeah. He was just a good guy and and when we got the news on on Saturday ab uh, about him, you know, it's one of those things where I, I looked at it and had to look again because he was he you was, almost didn't believe it. I didn't believe it. He was he, he's one of these guys. I mean, he was working out all the time. He was he come in here. He was the kindest, just sweetest guy around. Well, and that's it what breaks our heart. I think like v viewers don't get that what they saw. Yeah. Here, I mean, he was that person. Yeah. He was so full of life, and he had this energy about him and this positivity, and he really just was this happy guy that right. it was infectious, yeah. and so. It hurts when you see that because you think of their family, and we had the pleasure of, um, you know, interacting with Robin over the years, which is his wife and his three young kids, who you saw in that footage. They came on our show, and his parents, yeah. and it's just, it's a reminder too that you just never know what's going to happen, and um, just to be grateful for people in in your in your life. And I'm grateful that I was able to call him a friend, yeah. you know, and and for us to have him on our show and be impacted yeah. by him. He's someone, we talk about people knowing their roots, and he is someone he who loved East Providence. Mm -hmm. He could have gone anywhere after his BMX fame, yeah. you know? He was really one of the, a, a top athlete. And, and even just giving up on, his, on his, his days during the week, you would see him traveling to so many schools, uh, not only here in Rhode Island, but I mean, he, yeah. he'd, be, he'd be on the road <sighs> posting, you know, I'm heading, to, I'm heading to New Hampshire today, I'm heading all over the place. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. Yeah, he, he was all over, all over the place, mm -hmm. doing, just trying to bring, like you said, he was, he was such a positive guy, and I think, it's the one message that we can take away. What, what a positive guy he was. And yep. also, we were all going back on text, even on Saturday, just how short life can be. Mm -hmm. And and today, someone's here. And if there's somebody around and you want to give him a hug, give him a hug. Yeah. You know, just if, if you love them that much and, you know, mm -hmm. just tell them, tell them that. Yeah. Because it can, it can all be, it can all be over. So. And, and our thoughts and our prayers are with his oh, entire yeah. family and his friends and everyone. And, and what a good testament to his character, too, that his kids are some of the best kids they're I know, kids. especially this day and age they when really you think are. of the kids and stuck on technology. Yep. And they're, they're good kids. They're kind kids. Yep. And um, that family is, is, is a strong family, yep. and yep. they're going to get through it.
and we're going to get through it we're together get through it today as well. Too. That's right. We're going to have a fun show for you. We're going to lift the spirits this morning, and we're going to send things over to Brendan. He's taking a look at what's trending. Yeah, it's certainly today. not an easy morning today. My mom is a teacher, you guys, and one of her students is heavily into BMX biking. And one day she was chatting with him, and she mentioned K-Rob. And he looked at her, and he said, your son knows K-Rob? I mean, that's <laughs> the level of impact, impact that this guy had. I mean, he was idolized by young people everywhere. And I was just talking to my dad the other night. He knew a, a young man who was able to go to a camp in Pennsylvania or something because of the K-Rob Foundation. They wow. couldn't afford it. And I just think, you know, let that be this young man's legacy. And just to think that we're never going to come around the corner and walk into the green room and see his smiling face again, that's a tough one to deal with. Mm -hmm. We certainly will miss him, and our condolences go out to his family. Well, we